Hi, this is Tammy with Tammy's Home Tips. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to black top your driveway, so stay tuned and we'll get right to it. So in case you didn't notice, today we're in sunny Florida and we're going to show you how to black top this driveway. You're going to hear some beautiful birds in the background and you might even hear some planes, but we're going to show you how to do this and I'll show you everything that you need. So let's get right into it. So as you can see, this is what the driveway looked before black topping it. It was tired looking, it had some cracks, and it definitely needed to be filled out. So I'm going to show you all the steps, but first let's talk about the tools that we're going to need. We are going to need a leaf blower, a wire brush, a pressure washer, also a rubberized asphalt emulsion crack filler, a caulking gun for that, a putty knife or trowel, a resurfacer which is the asphalt, a drill with mixer, a paintbrush, and a driveway squeegee. So I'm not going into detail about pressure washing the driveway. You basically just want to get all the leaves off with the leaf blower and then use your wire brush to get any adhering leaves or perhaps pine needles if you have any. And then you would go ahead and pressure wash the driveway to make sure you have a nice clean surface to work with. Once you've completely let the driveway dry, you're going to go ahead and get your crack filler and any cracks that you might have, just fill those in. Now if these cracks are half an inch or bigger, then you'll want to maybe fill it up with some small pebbles or stones to create more of a structure there for the crack filler to adhere to and make it nice and solid. And then once you've filled in these cracks, then you take your putty knife or your trowel and just spread it around and if it has sunk in more than you wanted it to then add some more crack filler until it's even with the top and then check it again to make sure that it hasn't sunk in anymore and then that step will be done and of course you want to do this with all of your cracks in the area all along your driveway also be sure to wear your worst clothes and your worst shoes because you're going to get this all over yourself and you'll see why I say that in the next minute. At this point you're going to take out your resurfacer and you will need to mix this up. So this is when the drill will come in handy. This is the Latex IT Optimum driveway filler sealer. So um, this is the one that we used and my nephew is going to mix it up here and yes he got it all over his sneakers thankfully these were his work sneakers so you obviously are going to start at one end or the other but as you keep going down the driveway you're going to get the wet edge and then you'd want to push it forward and backwards now the idea isn't to just pick up every little bit as you're pulling and pushing you really just want to get everything into the grooves, prevent any visible lines, and you know, just really fill in all the little tiny cracks with this. So you're just gonna work it back and forth until you feel the coverage is sufficient. Bring it all the way to the edge as well. In the next step, I'll show you how you can finish off the edge, but for this step, you're just again going to just push it back and forth so that you get the good consistency and uh, the good coverage in there for all the cracks. As a side point, as you see here, the bucket is upside down. So when you get to the bottom of a bucket, you can go ahead and do that so that you can get all of your material out and you're not wasting any of it. Also, remember not to put too much material out because you don't want to be dealing with excess either. So, you know, just try to put a nice amount at the wet edge, but don't overdo it and then try to get as close to the edge as you can but don't push too much product into the edge because you don't want to mess at the edge as you can see it's starting to look really great here so in truth you can do this step at the beginning or at the end but I kind of think it's best to do it at the end because you can just use whatever's left in your buckets and you know you can push it as far up to the edge as you as you would desire to and then just kind of work with that 
but you just take your paintbrush and bring it right up to the edge and make sure it's generously applied and pushed into all those cracks again, all of those little nooks and crannies. Make sure it gets all in there and you can follow it all along the edge here and that will finish it all up really nicely. From here on, it's just basically rinse and repeat. Pour the product into the wet edge, bring it as far to the edge as you can with the product, and then take your paintbrush and, and finish off the edges. And you'll be done before you know it. Now it's gonna take about 24 to 36 hours before you can actually drive a car over it, and that's of course if your drying conditions are good. Again, this is what it looked like before. And here's a picture of what it looks like afterwards. And you can see it makes a huge difference. Not only does it make it look a lot more beautiful, but it also protects your driveway. And it's really something that you should do every three to five years. It's certainly something that you can do at home. If you have any comments or anything you'd like to share, be sure to drop them below. And also, if you liked this information or you like this sort of thing, be sure to subscribe and like and check out my other videos. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos with Tammy's Home Tips. Have a great day.